do you guys love the hydro grip primer then you're probably gonna love the hydro grip setting spray <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today we have a new product from Milk Makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Setting Spray. Oh my goodness. Let me just show you. This looks so awesome. This like lava lamp look that it has. So adding to the Hydro family, this is my Hydro Grip Primer. I've used a fair amount of it. I only use a little bit of it, but I also have a little mini now for traveling, a little mini hydro. I did want to say that Milk Makeup and Influencer did send me this in a box box. If you're curious about what a box box is, an influencer, I'll have a link down below where you can sign up for free and you get box boxes. And you don't have to be a YouTuber or anything like that. You just do reviews and be active and you participate in surveys and they send you products to try out. Now, with filming this, I don't know how much this is. I don't have a lot of information on it, just from what Influencer has sent me on the little information little sheet right here. So, this is new. It's alcohol free. It has the two different parts to it. It's supposed to set your makeup for up to 12 hours, hydrate your skin, and has a breathable glassy glow which you guys know i've been loving the glowy look lately so it says the blue agave part of the setting spray has the blue agave extract to grip to set makeup it has hemp derived cannabis seed extract aloe niacinamide and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, refresh, and help to provide antioxidants. And then the green part of this is hemp-derived cannabis and something seed oils to provide an extra boost of hydration. And that's what helps with the glowiness. And then you're supposed to shake it to mix it and activate it. Alcohol-free, fragrance-free, gluten-free, clean formula, and it's cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan all of that good stuff but i don't know how much it is and i don't know when it's coming out so whenever i upload this video i will have it in my description box and once you mix it up this is what it looks like so in today's video i'm going to be doing my makeup per usual and i'm going to have the hydro grip primer on one side of my face just a moisturizer as a primer on the other side of my face i'm going to set my face i'm going to do a 12 hour wear test with my makeup to see how well each side goes to have a double whammy of the hydro grip side and then just with the setting spray on the other side so i have been using the fenty skin moisturizer with spf on my face underneath my makeup recently so i'm gonna use this on this side of my face and then i'm gonna take the hydro grip primer start focusing it on just like my t-zone get it real good on that tip of my nose all right and then for my foundation i'm going to use the stay naked weightless liquid foundation because this has a 24 hour wear i am going to be running errands and putting a face mask on and off today so we're going to be doing a pretty good wear test with everything i did do a separate wear test on the stay naked foundation and i love this foundation this is one of my favorite foundations and i know how it works with my skin so We'll see if it'll actually make a difference. And then next up, I'm going to be using the NARS Cream Brulee Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have re-fallen in love with this concealer. NARS is supposed to be coming out with a foundation version of this. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember really loving this concealer. And I reached for it and now I have yet to put it down. <laughs> so... I am very excited for the NARS foundation to come out and I'm definitely going to be doing a review over it, follow up with a sponge. And then if you guys watched my video over how to make your makeup transfer proof with face mask, you guys know my tried and true is this Laura Mercier setting powder. So I'm going to be setting my face especially on my nose. Alright and that is all of my bases covered 
my foundation looked pretty good on both sides and everything looks pretty matte. So I'm gonna do my cheeks and the rest of my makeup and then we are going to set my face with this new setting spray. All right, I just finished the rest of my makeup and now we're gonna dig into more of this Hydro setting spray. So I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but this is a mini size that they sent me and the mini Hydro Grip Primer. This is the full size of the Hydro Grip Primer, so I can only imagine what the full size of the setting spray looks like. The setting spray, the sprayer itself is pretty fine. As you guys can probably see, it is really fine. It does smell like slime. I did spray this on just my skin by itself and it does smell like slime, like the slime that you play with. But I did wanna bring out my watermelon ultra fine mist because it is pretty similar. It doesn't have that like, I don't know how, like this has more of like a continuous mist to it while as the Hydro Grip Spray has a little bit of a thicker button to push, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more like in your face. <laughs> it also separates really easily, so you do have to keep shaking it up. But I did wanna show you guys my skin beforehand, because this is the first time that I'm using the setting spray on makeup. So I didn't use any highlighter, but I wanted to show you how matte my skin is, what my skin looks like. My forehead has been going through it, so we're just gonna ignore my forehead, but as for the rest of my skin, it is pretty matte. And it does say to allow one minute for it to completely set into your face. So let's see, we're gonna do All right, I think I got my whole face. Feels like it, I'm gonna fan it down. It does have the same kind of feeling to it as the Hydro Grip Primer, as when I used it without foundation on. You know, the Hydro Grip Primer has that like kind of smooth um, jelly kind of consistency and then it gets that tacky feeling. The Hydro Grip Primer setting, the Hydro Grip setting spray did kind of the same thing with my face where when I sprayed it, it felt really nice and hydrated at first as it does right now. And then it got kind of like a, not really like a tightening feeling where you could kind of tell it, was, it got a little tacky. So first impressions, I do think it added a nice little glow. It's nothing too crazy. It does still need to dry down on my nose right there, but Nothing too crazy. It definitely is like that natural, like kind of satiny glow, glow within, very natural versus like the Tatcha Dewy Mist or the Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. Both of these have a lot more of a shine. I wouldn't really call this like a glassy, what do they call it? A glassy glow. Would y'all call this a glassy glow? I don't know. So with foundation on, I'm not getting that kind of tacky feeling to my skin. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's not a very like aggressive sprayer. So I don't have any of the little spots on my face. Overall, I feel like it's living up to its claim. It does add a little bit of a natural glow. It does feel hydrating. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. The smell goes away. It doesn't stay smelling like slime, but when you spray it initially, it, def it definitely smells like slime. Oh my gosh, the prices are right here. Okay, so the Mini Grip, Hi the Mini Hydro Grip Primer is $15 and the Mini Hydro Grip Setting Spray is $18. Oh my gosh, it has it right here on the little sheet and I totally missed that. But it is about to be 10 o'clock, it's about 9.45 right now. So I'm gonna keep my makeup on until 9, 10 o'clock at night. There's not a lot of claims that this really says on here other than it sets your makeup for 12 hours, hydrates for blissed out skin, provides a breathable glassy glow, refreshes skin and revitalizes makeup throughout the day. 
So maybe halfway through this 12 hour wear test, maybe I'll refresh my makeup, see if that helps anything. So it says in a used market study, 100% of people said the formula sets and locks their makeup. 95% of people said their skin looked hydrated and refreshed. I do think with this glow, it does look hydrated. And then they said after 12 hours, 100% of people said formula helped lock in makeup and lasts for 12 hours. So we're gonna really see if that works. And then 90% of people said formula grip makeup all day and makeup looks better and stays on better. So we will see because I did a pretty vigorous wear test with my naked foundation that I have on. I wore it for, I don't remember how long, maybe I did wear it for like 22 hours or something really long where I took a flight from here to California to Hawaii and wearing it on the plane and the different environments and it, it was a pretty vigorous wear test that I put this through, but it did last long. I did have some oils that showed through, you know, that's my main thing with foundation is that oils will show through on my nose, on my cheeks, on my chin, so near my forehead. And then I get dry, like right now I'm getting dry on my forehead, if you guys can't tell. And I do get dry a bit on some parts of my nose and around my mouth and my chin area is where I get dry and oily. So it's a whole big mess, but I will see you guys in a check-in in a couple of hours and we'll see if my makeup still looks the same, how it's gonna go. All right, it's a little bit past three. Makeup is holding up pretty good. It pretty much looks like how I put it on this morning. I don't really notice any changes in it at all. It is 97 degrees outside and it says that it feels like it's 108, so with sweating. I think this is doing a wonderful job. Do a little bit of a zoom in so you guys can see. The face mask took a little, little, little bit of foundation off on my tip of my nose, but other than that, I think it looks pretty normal. And I'm actually kind of shocked. A little bit of a refreshing part of this because this is a set and refresh spray. So we're gonna try the refreshing part of it it is hot outside. That definitely felt really nice. So you do have to give it a minute for it to fully set in its ways. So far with the three o'clock check-in, everything looks fantastic. I'm very impressed. Now let's speed into the final check-in. All right, it is nine. 30 at night, I finished eating dinner, and this is what my makeup looks like after 12 hours of wear, and I am very impressed. I am very, very impressed with over 100 degree weather, lots of humidity, sweating, face masks, eating, through everything that today has thrown at me. This foundation looks like what normally would be like my six hour wear test. So I am very, very, very impressed. It really hasn't changed much since the last check-in. I really don't notice a lot of difference between the, t the two sides. At first I thought this side was a little bit more oily, but I really can't tell now with all these beauty lights on my face, <laughs> I probably look a lot shinier on camera than I do in person. Yeah, everything is bomb.com. One thing I do wanna point out though, something that's kind of weird, my smile lines. With the Hydro Grip Primer and Setting Spray, with just the setting spray. And I don't know, maybe it's, I'm gonna have to wear this a couple more times to really get a good feel about it, but I'm pretty friggin' impressed. I really feel like these two, like, your face is in between them and it's like protecting from both sides of your face. And I'm a little sad that I already used that much of it <laughs> for like two days. I'm like soaking it all up. I don't know, I'm gonna try this out for a while with the Hydro Grip 
primer and the setting spray with some other foundations and in a future video i will update you guys but so far uh two thumbs up for me it looks freaking bomb but that is it for this video let me know what you guys thought about it did you notice anything crazy that i didn't mention do you guys love the hydro grip primer then you're probably gonna love the hydro grip setting spray it has been 12 hours and it has been a freaking long time since i've worn my makeup for 12 hours so i'm ready to take this makeup off of my face but if you want another video over some newness i did do a whole video on all the new products from fenty and that video will be right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by youtube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel